What is up guys, welcome to Boomer Base. Today we're back for another retrospective and we're joined again by the wonderful Maddie. Say hello Maddie. Hello. Beautiful hello there. So today we're here to talk about one of my favourite childhood films, the 2001 Disney film Recess Schools Out. So let's get cracking. But before we get to the real content, if you end up liking what you see and want to see more, please subscribe and hit the bell to be notified anytime I upload. So, recess school's out. Maddie, tell me what you thought. I mean, it's recess. You can't really go wrong with recess, can you? Beautiful comment there. Recess is one of my, like, favourite childhood TV shows that I can quite comfortably watch today and still just enjoy it. And this film, I love so much. It's an underrated gem. It's... Just top to bottom, good, nice, feels very nostalgic. There's lots of love for being a kid. It's all kidified. It's about everything that you'd want to do as a child. Like, yep. you'd love to come across a fucking secret mission going on in your school. And save the day and team up to fight the bad guys. The world. I know, it's, it's amazing. And when you watch the original series and then go to this, you notice a huge step in animation quality. And it looks really good. And it's only sort of from having a chat with Maddie and things that I realise that this is probably a film I do actually watch just like once a year. I mean, every time something was going to happen that you knew I'd laugh at, you'd look at me before it happened. So you still think it was coming. Yep, it is great. I love it. Top to bottom, love it. Can you tell me what this film was about, Maddie? Well, it's a summer vacation. Yep. And TJ finds out that everyone else in his little gang are going to um, camps over the summer. Mm -hmm. He's going to be all on his own. Got to hang out with Randall. Randall, Ooh. lowest, lowest level. He drives past the school and sees green, eerie lights. Green, eerie lights. You heard it here, folks. Um, and sees a big laser in there. Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah. Anything else? Is that just it? Ends there? No. No? Um, put a lot of pressure on me. Okay, I'll take over. That's fine. So, he uncovers a plot. Man runs to the principal, because no one believes him. Principal comes, gets laser-fired on the doorknob. Boom. Conspiracy. No one believes him. He runs into his double glazed door. Mum wants to bust out the petroleum jelly in the thermometer to go up his ass because he's hit his head and it's not apparently the first time. His dad likes to remind us. Then he busts, grabs his sister from Floppy Burger, the the best coming. fast food restaurant. Like, what's the word for? Like he. Used her book against her. Bribed. Bribed her forcefully to drive and pick up all his friends. From all the different camps. Yep, all the different miles away. And then suddenly the friends don't believe him. They think they've just he's just brought them back here because he was lonely. And boom, laser beam appears. And what do they do? They try to rescue the school. TJ gets captured. And then boom, Operation Friends Save TJ in the World. Bust out a nice, friendly Avengers... Why is it happening, Ben? Why is it happening? That's the main thing. The main bit is some prickly, white-haired motherfucker with a cane. And a grudge. And a grudge against Third Street Middle School wants to get rid of... I actually don't know if you'll hear the drums because my mic sometimes doesn't pick those up. Summer Vacation. Well, recess first, and then summer Recess vacation. and summer vacation. And we know that this is a big, big no-no. And how are they doing that, Ben? By laser beaming the moon. Moving the moon. <laughs> By moving the moon. Because that makes so much sense. Well, I mean, if it got closer, you never know. Probably would be Changes a bit... Just orbit. Yeah, probably just affect some bits and bobs, you know. I don't think it would work out the way they want it to work out. I mean, it might have done, but... Top to bottom, great film. It felt like I was watching Spy Kids mixed with Scooby-Doo. And it was just great. You know, it had like all the fun adventures of... Everything was like doled down. The bad guys, there wasn't really like much scariness to them or anything like that. Well, it is a children's film. Or any threat. But I liked how just all the things that they would use in the Recess TV show. Like 
ketchup, soda, bowls, all shit like that was used Water to... Blend. Exactly, to try combat this, and I love that. It made it feel a bit like the Spy Kids-esque with the gadgets and stuff, and I enjoyed that. Everything's about wanting to keep recess, reigniting some passions with some teachers, like Principal Prickly and why he becomes... I like the teachers joining the... Yep, yeah, the Avengers Endgame moment where all the teachers came down. And, and all the children. It was great. Thoroughly loved it. I mean... Who would you say is your favourite out of the, the gang? Probably Mikey. Mikey is a good man. I love all his songs. He's just a... I love how he, he has to have a separate actor for singing. It's his singing actor. It's great. I'm not surprised. I used to think when it, when I was little that he just suddenly just busted out a really deep voice and sung really well. Like, I remember the John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt song. Oh, love it. Ingrained in my... Oh, it fell off my chair. Ingrained in my bones. Such a good song. Like, all I can think about when watching this is nostalgia. I remember watching this as a kid, loving it from Loving Recess. And every time I go back and watch it, I just feel a little bit like a kid again in a really positive way. I remember some of the going outside during, like, summer vacation and holidays as a kid, enjoying, you know, going riding around on my bike, going to the village hall, getting up to mischief. I bet you were I was a mischievous child. boy. No, I was all right. I'd go hang out with my pal Christian or Sonny. They would come do stuff, or I'd hang out with Siobhan, even Curtis, who's a little bit like the Randall in this, I guess, but he was just a guy that used to pick his nose and eat his bogeys. That's lovely. He's a bit of a weirdo, but, you know, I love this film. Nostalgia is real. I was having a think about it earlier from looking on my phone. Like, this came out at a time where we just had the Chicken Run film, Rugrats in Paris. I had the Pokemon 3, the movie, and I had the Thomas the Tank Engine, the Magic Railroad, and the Flintstones Viva Rock. I think it was Vegas, I think it was called. Like, this was a, this was a high time in my life as a kid. Good few years, good periods of time. It was. Early 2000s is the best. Maddie. Is there anything you dislike? Two years old. You're two years old. Do you remember watching this film when you were two? No. No. Is there anything that you disliked in this film? A nice dramatic pause here, Maddie. Keep them on their toes. I don't think so. No, that's good. The answer was nothing. (laughs) Well, then I got it right. The correct answer was nothing. You, you liked all of it. It was amazing. I can't even remember the guy's fucking name. Philium. Philium. Philium's voice actor I thought was really good in this. Because I keep thinking it was Billium, but I was like, it's not Billium. Which one's Philium? Philium's the guy with the cane. The, ba- oh, the madman that loved Muriel. Like, his voice actor sounded really good, but man, all he had to do was just like shout and whinge all the time, which... It looks just like him. Yeah. It does a little bit, to be fair. I liked that the guy from Numbers was Fenwick. But it's not like whenever I think about recess, I think about the days where you had Did like. Is a girl? No, it's a kid. It looks like a little girl. Like her, she's in um, California Cajun. But irregardless, recess schools out. Easily my favourite of the, I think, the trio of recess films that they did. We watched the Recess TV show not so long ago, didn't we? we watched it, I think, a couple of years ago. Yeah. Because I think we watched that. We watched then... the other films as well. Yeah, we watched Schools we Out watched before as well. Because yeah. um, I think we watched Recess, then we watched Lizzie McGuire. If you remember. I think we might have watched Lizzie McGuire first. Maybe. I remember I was on my, I was on my, like, pasta hype. Yeah, like, you know, I was in my, eating a bunch of mayo pasta face. But, No. This isn't a a wholly crazy in-depth retrospective. This is more of just a retrospective for Ben to say for like 10 minutes. I love this film. It's amazing. You can't fault it. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. You'll feel like a kid and you'll love it. I hear my notes. Ladies and gentlemen, breaking news at 5 o'clock. We've got some of Maddie's notes. Are you prepared? Not very many. Fire away, Mad. Wow. With, With your projection... Wow, what a coincidence. The base is at the middle school. (laughs) Oh, the Ashleys. Oh, the Ashleys. Ashley A, Ashley K. 
cute. Something like that. I do quite like them. Scandalous. Randall's such a little weasel. <laughs> Looking back, TJ should definitely have been expelled. <laughs> he probably should. That man got away with murder, pretty much. Heartbreaking to spend summer holidays without friends. It is. It would be a horrible thing. Always love the diversity of the friend group. Yeah. I think I like I like the way they treat Gretchen as well. Realistically, Gus would not survive military camp. <laughs> no, he would not. But he rose to a leader. He commanded them all. He got everyone to rally together. And save the school. Um, TJ's dad, TJ's dad's head is massive. <laughs> Maddie, these are riveting notes. It was. It was really big. It, it was a big head, but he just got a big head. I've just got a few more. It's okay. No, that's fine. You can tell me all these notes. I love them. Would have loved something like this to happen during my summer holidays. Did you not have this happen at yours? I saved the school a few times. What a big satellite. <laughs> <laughs> Gretchen is just so impressive. She is. She's a smart lady. She is. She is my role model. She, she should be a role model. She should be. Gretchen is a role model. The entire friend group is a role model. That's how you treat your friends. you got a sporty guy that, even though he's like a jock, he still hangs with his friends. you got the class clown. Who loves all of his friends? You got a smart lady that doesn't ever get taken the piss out of, and she's always there for her friends. You got some hair. You got Gus, who's a bit of a wimpy kid, but his friends always look after him. And you got Mikey, the lovable, lovable singer that just loves food. Wow, and Spinelli. Is bitter. Yeah, he is. Yeah, you forgot Spinelli. I was coming to Spinelli. <laughs> Spinelli, the cool lady with the hat, who's called Ashley, who became an Ashley, if you remember. Yeah, Ashley. Wow, this teacher was better. That was my last note. Oh, was the last note. Yeah. <laughs> Miss you Finster. cut me off just oh, before. I'm, so I'm sorry. Miss, you know, you're not know right about Miss Finster in a go, 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 get up that made it look like a whole chicken? I was falling asleep at that point. It's not very nice. But, well, not because of the film. Just I'm tired. I was up at half six. Um, I liked her. Miss Finster's great. End. I like, because in some of the episodes in the... In the TV show, she does that like hula hula navy stuff with Spinelli, and like I like seeing the softer sides of some of the harsher teachers. Like I like Miss Finster. I think the only character I dislike is probably King Bob and Randall. Because King Bob is just for some reason the king of the playground. Is just his mad brow really bothers me. I know and he has too much power, but he passed it on to one of his lackeys in this film. Randall's just a dickhead. Randall is just a dickhead. But I do recall there is an episode where like he ends up being nice and friends with TJ a lot more and then like they almost become like friends friends and he has to go back to be in his same weasley way. But no. Recess school's out, go watch it. I'm telling you. If there's one thing that you need to take away from this, it's watching Recess School's Out from two thousand and one here on Disney Plus. <laughs> here on Disney. Here on Channel. Disney the Disney Channel. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And then tune in for another episode of Retrospective later down the line. Toodle pip. <laughs> hey, thank you for watching the video. Click the button to keep watching or click the other video for more videos. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.